Hello and welcome back and happy holidays everybody. Just wanted to provide a little bit of an update on the bone breaker I'm making for Ant at Sustainable Center. Um, just the progress is uh, quite far. This is close to uh, the final stage. Um, there's going to be some cleaning up that I'm going to be doing, but this is, if you don't know what a bone breaker is, this is a, a warlord or a general that is riding on the back. I'll probably be looking just about like that. Riding on the back of a rat ogre. So, again, as with uh, the other conversions that uh, I've been doing for Anthony, he provided me with the materials, and I just, uh, I mean, I have a whole box worth of stuff, and um, i previously done the war litter. Now I'm just trying to customize a little bit. So, let's see if I can focus. I added in a few differences on the, um, the standard that's on the back of the, uh, this uh, warlord. Um, and uh, the one that I had before, I kind of made it a little bit closer to his back just because of the angle. Um, this one I kept where, where it was. But I did, once again, cut off the, um, the, the, the granite piece that he was sitting on. And I'm going to further uh, drummel this out a little bit. And then I'm going to be adding in just a little, uh, a little uh, peg, uh, just, a, just a pin, uh, a, you know, a very tiny nail that I'm going to use so that I can affix this well to the back of the bone breaker. And I'll probably put a little recess dremeling into the back so that he fits in nicely. Um, he's a little drunk right now, I think on eggnog, so he keeps uh, tipping over. Now, just picture, you know, obviously he's going to have his hands attached at the time, but he'll have, he'll be more like this. I want to block the camera here. And um, what I have is, is I have his hand, as you probably can see, um, opened up a little bit because what I have is I have this chain, which will be cut down to size, that's going to be kind of like his reins. Um, Anthony gave me a nice picture showing somebody's incredible job, and I'm going to emulate that, um, and I'm going to be adding in some green stuff in there, uh, but I'm going to have this coming up like that, and then this one on this side coming up so that they're going to both be clasped and then they're going to be hanging dangling down the two sides I want to have a couple of little um, bells hanging from the bottom pieces but um, that's going to be kind of uh, how this uh, this warlord steers the um, the bone breaker tells him which way to go so just like uh, riding a horse um, I have I removed him from the base he came connected to this base with apparently some you know, I guess I guess some pre um, priming. I don't know if that's primer that's on here or if this is the actual color of the plastic. It looks a little bit different, but sometimes the the grays are a little bit different depending on the um, the model. But it looks like this might be like just a quick primer or whatever. Um, and I'm going to go and connect this to some rays. These pegs I made sure that were still intact. So before I add it back to the base. I'm not using these pegs where he was they were inserted. I think that they were done because there's all of these holes at the bottom, but I didn't like the positioning. It's too much to the side, and I think it would also interfere not only with units that might, models that might be on either side of it, because it's supposed to be within a unit, but it kind of looked like he was moving too much, looking too much on an angle, and the bone breaker as well. So I kind of wanted him more like that, looking straight ahead. When we give, afford it to sit inside, the unit a little bit better and then the bone breaker would sit atop it looking also straight ahead. I'm also going to be affixing this. I've already cut it down a little bit but I'm going to drill in a couple of holes and this is going to be kind of part of the thing that helps support the bone, the um, the warlord onto the back of the bone breaker um, and I'm probably fill this in with something I'm not really sure exactly what. So this is, you know, I've got a couple of things to clean up and then add on, you know, maybe a little more green stuffing, and then I'll have f uh, finally assembled stuff. Most of the cleanup on, you know, the uh, the model has been done and preparation. So, you know, this I'm just going to be I'm going to be connecting, I'm be cutting down the um, the chain, and then I'm going to be connecting this chain to the fist, and then the other chain. Uh, to the fist and then you'll have two of them hanging off the back. It's not going to go straight through his hand. Um, I'm going to fix one, you know, both of those sides to this hand and then I'll fix new ones down the back of the other side because obviously his hand's not big enough 
to drill a hole straight through, but plenty of space to drill, drill through it on the mouth, and I think that's coming out pretty good. We just got to fill it in a little bit because it's a little bit too big. Um, but coming along, bone breaker should be done, you know, soon. Next, I, think, I think the next video will be a completion, and then I'll be moving on to my next project, which is, well, I, I, I'm not sure if, uh, which one I'm going to be doing, but I have a feeling what I'm going to be doing is my um, my Felbat or and or um, Vargas conversion, which is going to be some uh, Black Knight horse with uh, some. Uh, some wings affixed to it, and then on flying stands. Uh, the current, uh, the method I was using for peg, um, fell pegasi or fell bats, uh, I sold off, and they've just been sitting around waiting for the time, uh, and you know the uh, the and getting through various projects to actually get to another set of converting. Um, and I try to paint up some stuff from previous events. So I'm going to get back to just building a couple of units uh, once I finish this one. But this one, you know, getting close to. Uh, final assembly. Once again, I'll leave the base uh, unflocked so Anthony can determine what he wants. I'm just going to add some plastic to the bottom here so it's sitting on top of the base, not glued straight into it, so that it's raised up so that the feet won't be recessed into the base. And what I neglected to mention was one of the other reasons why I want to do it, because this is kind of sitting where his fist was on the ground. I want to kind of have him like a little bit elevated because what I want to do is I want to have something either on the back end or the front end of the fist. Like he looks, he looks it's a perfect fist. Look like he's grabbing something. I don't know if it works. He's just too hunched over when he's like hanging like that. So I figured he'd have some kind of rocky um, or dirt uh, ground uh, that he's raised up a little bit, but underneath his fist it would be a little bit of a of a gap, um, a, a, re a recess, and I'll have something hanging from there, some kind of a victim maybe. Maybe one of these pieces like hanging from there that he's, you know, something that he's, um, something that he's, uh, he's already ripped through. I mean, he's a bone breaker. He's going to do some damage. Um, and then we'll see. Maybe I'll add some other bits. Uh, you know, I, I'll, maybe I'll have, uh, you know, one of the little rats hanging out at the bottom there, you know, you know snickering, uh, uh, with, uh, glee at the, uh, the victims of this powerful, um, combined model and i hope you enjoy so uh, again happy holidays please feel to tune in i'm going to have some updates coming up with some future videos probably short ones like this one uh with some additional conversions and uh, some games i'm hoping to get some games in over the break i have a couple already lined up and a few that are still on the table waiting to be cut and the audio done so look out for it and uh since this is you know well timed uh, i'm sure everybody has seen that there was a um a leak on White Dwarf with new pictures of the uh, of vermin, uh, I guess, I'm not, I guess vermin lords or uh, de demon, uh, char you know, wizard type characters that the um, the Skaven can, can use. And these are probably going to be new rules in the new End Times book. So look out for that. So this is kind of well-timed uh, for Anthony, getting all this stuff ready for him to put on the table. Looking forward to um, uh, testing some of that stuff out and eventually getting to some of those scenarios that book once I finish doing the Nagash ones again the Glocken ones and uh, you know I mean, hopefully uh, we'll do some of the Kane ones as well with some of the people that I know but uh, still working on doing those scenarios I know OB is doing them so I'm glad to and just finally one last thing um, and I know I know this is, a, this is supposed to be a very short video vote vote for the year-end awards whoever you feel that you is going to appropriate this is not just a plug you know not a plug for me you know obviously if you feel there's anything that I'm putting out there that you'd like to vote for um, please do, but go to Matirum's page. He and Vince Ventrella and Whoopi Womp ha are, are compiling votes for a variety of different categories. Please vote. Um, the, you know, th this is, I look, I, 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 I lurked for a long time watching people's videos when I went, got back into um, the hobby before I even posted a single comment, and certainly before I started doing putting out content of my own. Um, it's a nice affirmation for all the people who put out so much work. It is a lot more work than I ever expected. Um, and obviously very little pay, if any, you know, this is pennies that you make for any of the uh, clicks that you get from this stuff, literally. Um, and nobody's making a living um, in the Warhammer community on this. Uh, maybe at best they might be, you know, paying for one box set every once in a while or paying for their entry fee to a tournament here and there. But except for the very, very biggest people with the most views and the most uh, uh, subscribers nobody everybody's doing this for fun and that's certainly where i'm headed so um but it's really nice to get some affirmation 
uh, for all the work that you know just that, that that people enjoy what you're doing beyond just being able to click like and make nice comments um, vote for who you want there's some really good people out there that I am I've been tremendously impressed with so you know obviously some of the standard uh, big guys like you know Anthony from the Sustainable Center and um, uh, once bitten um, and I we only haven't seen people like Luke Davis in a while and and uh, Matthew Reeson, but you know, uh, uh, there's a trim. I can't even na name all the names. I'd feel terrible leaving people out, but you know, some of the people that I follow pretty regularly. Um, William Page does incredible presentation uh, uh, on his reports. Uh, um, Matiram and the boys, uh, obviously, Mitt does just puts out some great content uh, and, and just great stuff. A lot of pain episodes by Whoopi. Um, there's you know uh, Wahoo Warrior, um, Unleashed Wargaming, um, you know there's there's I I know I'm gonna feel terrible leaving some people out just because it's you know whatever's top of mind right now, um, but um, hey you know if there's people that you like and that you enjoy um, and that you uh, you follow on a regular basis uh, um, or that you even if they put out one video and you think that they're doing a good job you know you can you can always throw them a vote just because to make them feel good because it really does uh you know obviously you should vote for people who you think that really deserve it in the category there's quite a few and um there's some people that have popped up over the past year that have put out some really cool content and it's just it's very entertaining and it's wonderful and it grows the community so please feel free to go ahead and do that um links i usually post in these videos but go over to um Materium site and uh you'll see that he has a video um uh, you can also see it on his google plus page and uh, you'll see the various different um, a link, not just to the short video on what he's looking for in the because uh, um, you have to be specific on, say, if it's a conversion, what the model is, if it's a paint job, what the model is, if it's a, a, a tournament battle report, what the tournament was. He wants some specifics on that. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, then there's a link also for the actual um, for the actual uh, uh you know, com you know the the insertions were whatever you want to vote for. So please do that, and I'll certainly have more stuff to come up between now and um, and the new year. Uh, so look out for me. And hey, everybody, happy holidays, and have a wonderful day.